I don't know the exact date of what you're going to see from Christine, but I would imagine it would be late 1972, early 1973. But uh, let's just roll it. The thing about Christine's video here is she wasn't the greatest interviewer. Mm -hmm. I mean, she would just ask a question and the people would talk. And yeah. she wouldn't engage them and second question them or anything or follow up. Mm -hmm. So you just see her talk for a little bit and you've got six or seven minutes of people talking and then she'll chime in again and another five minutes of people talking. So it's kind of hard to capture yeah, her sure. spirit. But No, I'm, I'm would you like to sit very down? happy. Yes, I would like yeah, to. Thank yeah. you. This is Channel 40 News Watch with anchorman Bob Keane, weather analyst Leslie Green, and sportscaster Ron Jackson. The old Sarasota that I grew up in. Picture quality is not the greatest, but you should be able to and see. And in the next county down there is St. Joe's Hospital. Sarasota Memorial Hospital, through the Public Hospital Board, has a site in more mineral springs. Aren't these enough? Is it really necessary to have another hospital? For the time being, or at least up until this time. Mayor General, as uh, really the end of the line of Sarasota County, which Northport is, um, what are the needs of your community now, not two years from now, but right now? People have bugged me to see video, to see this video of Christine on, on my YouTube channel. Because uh, I have some of my weathercasts from that period, and they say, well, you're from Channel, you're from channel 40, you must uh, have some of Christine. And I say, well, the only reason that you're interested in seeing her is not because of her life or who she was, but because of how it ended. And I'm not going to do that. Right. That is not our, not our interest to romanticize the way that... But again, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for the way she ended her sure. life. It's, she didn't have an extraordinary career. She was an extraordinary person. She was extremely nice, and I loved her, but it, it's, it's the blood and gore aspect of it, the violent nature of her end and the, the public nature of her end that is the hook. That's why you're here talking to me now. That's fair. And it's digging it up out of history. And, it's, and Christine's biggest beef with local news was it was turning to blood and guts. So the very thing that she hated the most is the motivation between resurrecting this video and her life again and highlighting it. And I can live with it, but I don't necessarily like it. I think that that is a fair observation, um, but it is sort of a shock to the system to, to see her in living color. So this brings her alive to you? Uh, yes. To be open yes. I don't know what this means as far as a clinic, just a dispensary? Or? Dr. Miller, uh, should Lemon Bay be turned down in its zoning petitions and the whole thing is sort of scotched, as it were? It's been obvious through the efforts of... of I was 19 when I worked with her, and it, it really broke my heart along with everybody else yeah. when she ended her life. And I just wonder what she was thinking. Did she not think that there would be children watching TV? Yeah, no. People emotionally, with emotional problems that would profoundly impact. A suicide is a very selfish act, I guess. And if you're compelled to do it because of mental illness, you're compelled to do it. That's the only way I've been able to resolve this.